section G problem 3 it's a cupcake tray so first we will make this one cup then pattern it 8 times and then we will create this rectangle and extrude so let's start here we also have to define the global variables so first let's do that A is 3 and B 78 is 8 let's start from the front plane create a center line Give the dimensions this height is fifty eight, this radius six, this angle is nine. Down first, let's give the tangent. Now drag this down. Constrain these two points horizontal. Distance from here to here would be equal to B divided by 2. And just give this distance 1 now select all of these and this one line pressing shift key go to offset we need an offset of 3mm reverse direction Make sure the select chain is unchecked and open. Now just drag this point up to here. Give this radius 6. Don't give this one 3 mm, just give this one 6. Now to close the sketch, can add a line here. And the sketch is complete. You can go to features, revolve, select the axis, and done. Now we can make a linear pattern of this complete body. Let's uh, select the body here because we need to pattern the complete body this time. Select the body and go to direction. For first direction, let's say we take this right plane and we take two instances in that direction and for the second direction, we take front plane with four instances. The distance between them is given as B plus C. Let's write B plus C. You can just copy this and paste here. This the preview seems right. Okay. Now let's go to the top plane. It should be on the top sketch. Select rectangle. Now select all of these outer circles, pressing shift key. Now 
convert all of these circles because we don't need to extrude these circles we need a cut die now take center line create center lines like this and two center lines on this corner now just give dimension to one of the center lines this is equal to C and select all of the center lines the four lines And make them all equal. The rectangle is constrained. Um, take Phillips. This would be 10 mm. That is uh, not given in the sketch in the PDF, but it is 10 mm. Now we can go to extrude. This is equal to A and done. We have to select the opposite direction. So edit feature, flip the direction. We have to go down right. So this is now completed. Also click this merge result because then you don't you can see that the, the, all these bodies are separated and here it is showing 9 bodies but we have to combine them all so you can just do merge result now everything is combined there is a single body now also in this sketch I forgot to add the equation here when we took offset in the offset we cannot put equation so we have to put equation over here in the dimensions now the equation is defined so the part is now complete let's also uh, we have to add fillets on the side of 1 mm that's the last thing we need to do now it is complete so let's apply the material the material here is AISI 1015 Steel Cold Drawn SS. It is not given in the PDF. Now let's add a mass property sensor. Let's check the mass 3135.78. 3135.78. So this is correct. Now let's edit the equation, the variables. 3.5 82 and 10 let's check the mass 4061.09 4061.09 so this is also correct and for the last part this is 4 this is 92 and this is 12 5650.88 5650.88 so this is correct and the part is done now as I mentioned in this sketch you can make some mistakes if you put 3 here then this distance would change so let's say I delete this my put here 3 right now it is showing 2 if I put here 3 then this would change 7 this would become 7 so the result would be different so you can make this mistake that's why I specified first that here you make 6 because this radius will change when we change the variables it should change so that is it for this part next part in the next video thank you